Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do a review on the Langmuir Systems XL kit. This is an extension kit that gives you 10 extra inches on your cut bed. So let's get started. Okay guys, welcome back. This is going to be kind of an experiment. One of my cameras died on me and also we were testing out the time lapse video from the last one. So we're going to have to work with what we got. I accidentally threw some sparks at this camera and kind of messed up the lens, but I have a new lens coming in. So bear with me. Where's my knife? 2,000 years later. Okay, so we found it. That took long enough. And what this kit allows us to do is change out the main boom here make it so that we can utilize all 33 and a half inches of the water table. Because currently the way this carriage is constructed, the carriage is roughly 10 inches long, so that automatically deletes 10 inches of your path and usability of this table. Cool. So let's get this thing opened up and see what it looks like. Okay, so we got this all opened up and laid out here. It is actually even simpler than I thought it was. So, very minimal kit. It comes with the two head tubes, the one that the, the rail rides in, and the lower one that is part of the table itself. A longer lead screw, and two self-tapping screws. So, they've got assortment of instructions here. I honestly thought this was going to have like the side brackets and stuff, but I guess we can utilize the same ones. And honestly, like if a person had general layout skills and a drill press and could buy this lead screw offline you could make this kit super easily this is just a two by two square tube only advantage to this tube here versus something that you buy at your local uh, material store is this is got a galvanized coating on it which will help greatly for um, just keeping things from rusting, especially in this in the environment of the water table where things get wet and gooey. So let's get started and get this thing installed. Okay, so we got this thing completely assembled and back together. First thoughts, it was super simple. It took me about <clears throat> roughly an hour and a half, I believe, to assemble. Uh, a couple of tubes, nothing to be disappointed about. The only thing that I was slightly disappointed about was that they didn't upgrade this to a larger lead screw, but for the price, it's not really conducive for that. So something you're gonna have to look into when you do this is since you are unbolting your head tubes your gantry might come out of alignment I was anticipating this and it uh, was true thing I'm glad I checked it before I started trying to cut stuff but if I look over here we've got like I don't know, that's roughly three and five eighths from the boom to the slats and right here we got roughly three and three eighths so there's roughly a quarter inch difference from one end so we need to true that guy up excuse me um, and how you do that is undoing these cap screws and these nuts and just taking and running your axes uh, back and forth and we want to make sure that we maintain at least no more than a sixteenth inch from one end to the other so that you get good consistent cut height So we got this all leveled out. I found the best way to go about this was I found just a pile of stuff to use for shims. And you wanna make sure all your slats are down tight to the table so that they're all even across the board. And you wanna measure off your slats because that's what your material is gonna be sitting on. I start with 
throwing a level on it, which unless your table is perfectly level, it's not going to be super accurate. What is more important is that your gantry is square to your cutting bed itself. So I throw a level on it just to get a rough idea. Then I take and shim, set shims underneath of it. And then go over and loosen up your screws and let it sit on top of your shims. And what I found was there is about just over a sixteenth inch of sag just from the weight of the gantry to make it level. So you want to shim this end up about a sixteenth inch higher than your backside that's closer toward the carriage. And then when you tighten your bolts up, and loosen it out, it should sit down pretty flat. You might have to do it a couple times. You wanna make sure that that's good and true. Okay, so as you can see, this cut went within about a half an inch of the other side of the table. So final thoughts, would I buy it again? Yes, definitely. Even though it's a simple kit and I could easily make it, a couple of reasons. One, just time. For $150, you gotta add in about $25 for shipping, I believe. So $180, it was shipped to my front door. So it would've took me a couple hours to make that and didn't necessarily have the time for that. It's galvanized tubing. What the tubing I would've got locally, I could've got some galvanized or nickel plated, whatever this is, but it would have been a little harder to find, so that's a plus for the kit. Downside to the kit is it's a 3 8 lead screw, just like the old lead screws. It would have probably made it more expensive for them to bump up that size because they would have had to do another um, lead screw nut and the bearings and the couplers and all that stuff like that. So for the price, I can see why they didn't do that, but I can also see this thing kind of walking a little bit when it's going back and forth because that 36 inch long lead screw being only 3 8 of an inch in diameter is not as supportive as, as it could be. But overall, highly recommend it. Super excited to be able to cut and use the full capacity of the table. If you want to see more stuff that's coming up, please leave a like and subscribe and go build something guys.